welcome to the introduction session to AutoCAD. Myself, Unni Krishnan. So, let us uh, get introduced to the user interface of AutoCAD 2021. Before getting introduced, let me speak few words about AutoCAD. AutoCAD is a software developed by Autodesk and the current version is 2021. You can easily download this version since you are a student by uploading the proof of your student ID card. Let us understand the basic layout of the user interface. This is how generally AutoCAD greets you with the welcome screen. You have here the start draw button which will immediately take you to drawing and we will have other drawings which you have recently used. Let us go ahead and look at start drawing. So you have to click on this start drawing and it will immediately take into the user interface. Now here let me start introducing the layout of the software. First of all this is your and the app menu button. You can see here there are a lot of options available new, open, save etc which you regularly find in any other software that you have come across. And then comes the quick access menu bar which lies in the top. Now this can be customized and can be made according to your wish. Then comes the menu buttons. These menu will help you in opening up several other commands. And by default in home menu, you'll have several options like draw, modify, etc. readily available at your disposal. Then you have your viewing box, which shows in which view you are trying to make your drawing. By default, it goes into the top view, but it doesn't matter. You will have to draw in the top view only for any view that you want to construct. Then comes the uh, viewing navigation that can be used only for viewing and viewing purposes alone, like zooming, panning, etc. Now comes the command prompt, which lies below here. And it generally gives you not just the commands, also the next possible thing that you are supposed to do when you are in a command. Then comes the status bar, which houses almost any option that you would like to operate in between any command. So that's it, the basic layout of the uh, graphical user interface. Now, let me also introduce you the uh, user input device that you are going to use for making these drawings. Generally, we use a mouse and in a mouse, we have three buttons. I'm talking about here the hardware mouse and not the trackpad mouse, which you find in your laptop. So in a hardware mouse, you generally get three buttons. One left click that you regularly use for double clicking and opening files, etc. Then you have the right click and then you have the middle roller button which can also be clicked. So I will explain to you what is the purpose and use of each of these buttons. Now, if you go with the left click button, if I click on the left click, I have these two windows which gets developed when I move towards the right and towards the left. These are selection windows and I will be detailing about these selection windows in the coming few classes. Then comes the right click button a right click button will generally give up a lot of options and these are changing based on whichever command that you are in. By default, if you are not inside any command, this is what the menu which pops up when you right click on the drawing screen. Then comes your middle mouse button. A middle mouse roller can be rolled in and rolled out when you scroll up that is you are moving your fingers up, rolling the fingers up. That means it is zooming in. And if you roll your fingers down, that means it is zoom out. And one important and interesting thing that you have to notice here is that it zooms in and zooms out based on where your mouse is kept. And it is a dynamic kind of a zooming and zooming out. By double clicking on the middle button, you can zoom whatever you have drawn till now on the screen which is available. 
next comes the panning which you can use by clicking and holding it and dragging it for panning the view of your drawing all these will be regularly used and i will be introducing one by one intermittently so that you understand each of these buttons purpose now let me close this session by introducing you one small command and that is very essential and vital before you start off drawing any drawing using autocad so the command is units and as you can see whatever i tightly directly goes into the command prompt or it comes on the screen like this this is called a dynamic input and the other is called regular command prompt input so i prefer using the command prompt input because it is less confusing i'll also uh, let you know how these dynamic input mode and the command prompt input mode can be toggled as you all know units are very very important thing and you do not have a choice of making an engineering drawing without units so let us straight away go ahead and type the command units when you press enter it activates the command until you press enter the command is not activated so when you type units and press enter you have a pop up window which comes in now in this pop up window you will have to select what is the unit that you would like to go ahead with and here you can go with the units millimeters and the typical precision that you are going to use for our engineering drawing purposes would be 0.00 for both length and angle once you have set this you can just click okay and you are ready and set to start the drawings thank you for your patient listening we will meet in the next session for more commands that is in draw and modify thank you